Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie and today I have a home decor slash homewares haul for you. I've gotten quite a few little things here that I'm excited about and have already been putting to good use. So I'm going to just jump right in and I'm gonna start with the most utilitarian items first. Um, so I purchased from Amazon a ginormous, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be, binder, it's from Staples. So if you have a Staples near you, you can get it from Staples probably. Otherwise I can give you the link to the Amazon link, but it is just this huge binder and I'm not sure there's the color. Um, it's like a really cool deep hunter slash peacocky green and it's like the super heavy duty binder because I am going to be transferring, well, hold on. I also ordered, um, oh no, these are actually from Walmart, I forgot. Um, the tab dividers to go in the binder and then I have two packages of the pen and gear heavyweight sheet protectors from Walmart. Uh, so, for that, I am going to be transferring all of my uh, recipes into this one binder. Um, years back, I started making a binder for all the homemade recipes, all my favorite recipes, all my family recipes, all the recipes that I find online um, and love, and putting them into this binder, well actually there's three of them, there's dinner recipes, dessert recipes, and holiday recipes. Um, <clears throat> and putting them into this binder so that my kids would have recipes in my own handwriting for me to pass down to them. But I've quickly grown out of these binders. So I bought one giant binder and I'm gonna transfer them for myself into this binder. And then I will be consolidating these to my kids um, because I still have three binders. I've already made one for my oldest daughter. She has it already for when they move out and get their first apartment. They have my recipes. Um, so if you're interested in doing this, by the way, I have all the printables in here for free on my blog. I'll put them down below if I can figure out how to do that link. Um, but I now I forgot where I was going. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm going to be consolidating them in so each of my kids can have my recipes in my handwriting for when they move on. So I was excited to start, I've already started. Um, so I've just been the, the tater tot casserole. I don't have any organization in here. Just as I make a recipe, I've been putting it in here. For example, I have my Rob, Robin Johnson's chicken pot pie here. And then you look past here. Oh, uh, let's see, I know there's one in here somewhere. I have Robin and Nicole's. I can find it. This is what happens when you're not organized. <laughs> Robin and Nicole's, like Robin Sloppy Joe's and Nicole's Swedish Meatballs. So when they put up recipes on the YouTube channel and I want to try them out, I print them off and I'll put them in here if they're good. So I've already made both of those. They're good. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's what I got that for. The binder is from Amazon. The inserts were from Walmart. Okay, so speaking, I'm just gonna stay on the Amazon train here. Um, I, a few videos back, I let you guys all know that I was switching over to cast iron um, and getting rid of all of my, um, what is that stuff called? Teflon uh, pots and pans, and I've already done that, and I was looking for pot holders. I found some at Target. That was in a haul a couple of hauls ago, I think. Um, I'll link it in the description box. But my sister-in-law gave me a link for some pot holders because I still am looking for some pot holders, and I found, she found these black ones, and she really likes them. They look like this. They're silicone on the outside, but they're fabric on the inside. And there's two mitts and two, um, you know, pot holders. And then it also came with, like, they're calling them dish rags. They've got white, four white ones and four black ones. 
The four black ones I'm probably gonna use on <clears throat> to clean um, my cast iron pans. They're perfect for that. And the white ones I will probably honestly use on my fridge um, or my windows or something like that because they're really, really soft microfiber. So I grabbed those from Amazon. Also from Amazon, oh, I'm sorry, the garbage truck is coming through. I picked up this wood cutting board style. Let me scoop back a little bit. A wood cutting board style um, cookbook stand. I'm using it for the cookbooks that I'm currently transferring recipes out of into my binder. Um, it's really nice quality and I am really enjoying it actually. And of course, if I have a link, I do have a link, I'll put that down below. I have been collecting the Pioneer Woman Jade um, dishes and I found three more of these at a different Walmart. I love these little guys. I only need one more for a set of 12. So I'm excited about these. These, here is the thing, but they don't, there we go. They don't sell these like in a set. They come in like a, a box with four different colors, white, Atlas. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here. It's time for Allie to come home for her lunch break. So Atlas is at the door crying. <laughs> Atlas is her cat. Um, so uh, I grabbed three more of these. I only need one more. And then I grabbed four of these. These were the, the <laughs> if you watch that same video, these were the bowls that I purchased and then canceled my order and bought the cookie jar. So these are the bowls. And I went and just grabbed four of those. They had five. Do you see the difference in the striations of color? I love that so much. So I picked up four of these. Um, if they get more, I'll buy more, but I'll probably only buy like four at a time. Um, so I grabbed those. I am really excited to put those on my hutch and I'll show you in the end of this video. I never did a winter hutch tour. Um, so I'll just give you a quick snapshot of those. Give me a moment. I'm going to try to take care of Atlas. <laughs> Atlas. Okay. Here she is. <laughs> this is Atlas. She doesn't like to be held, so she loves to be cuddled, does not like to be held. <laughs> All right, there you go, honey. Okay, hopefully that um, redirects her a little bit. All right. Oh, one more thing from Walmart. I picked up a new laundry basket. Look at this, guys. <laughs> I went looking for a laundry basket that was a little bit lower to the ground. This one has like these faux leather handles on it um, and it's just like that rope when it's lined. Um, I was looking for one that's a little lower to the ground because the one I have right now um, is too tall for my dryer and so the door, I can't move the door and my laundry room is small so it's just like a dance routine <laughs> to unload the dryer and then reload the washer and all that jazz. So I grabbed one that is a little lower to the ground. So now I don't have to worry about that. I can just close the door with a, the laundry basket still there. It's amazing. All right. And I can't remember how much this was. I will link it or put it on the screen. I think it was like $20 or $24. It was pretty expensive for what it was, but it worked for what I needed. So I grabbed it because I've been having a little bit of a harder time with that. Okay, one more thing from Amazon, and it is this cake stand. It Sorry, did I say Amazon? It's from Target. I ordered this at the same time I ordered my rugs that are in my kitchen, but this one like came separately, and it took a few extra days, and it's just a little wooden cake stand from Hearth and Hand. Now, I don't usually like Hearth and Hand, but this guy I thought was cute. It looks like this on the bottom, and it was just really pretty, and I'm using it to prop up or elevate my bread flour that I have in my Pioneer Woman canister. That's where I'm keeping my bread flour, and then behind that, I tuck in a little bottle of water. Uh, because our 
water is city water. It's chlorinated and it's not conducive to making sourdough. So um, I just tuck that in behind to hide it and then I have everything that I need right then and there to make my sourdough starter or to feed my sourdough starter. And speaking of my sourdough starter, I purchased this jar for it. It's gonna look, you know, it's not pretty. <laughs> I mean, the jar is pretty, but the starter is kind of messy because it's on its way down. Um, I need to feed it and that's what I'll be doing after this, but I wanted to wait. <laughs> but this jar I got off Amazon and it came with an airtight lid, but I just took the seal off so it's not airtight anymore. So I don't have to worry about, you know, a yeast explosion in here. <laughs> but I grabbed this one and it's, this is a 31 ounce jar, I believe. And then because I wanted one with a wider opening on the top so I could really get in there and stir and stick my um, measuring cups in there and scoop and you know, that kind of thing. It just makes life easy when you have a taller versus, you know, a regular mouth mason jar. So, and I do have um, some small wide mouth mason jars, but this is definitely bigger than those. So I grabbed that. Last but not least, I purchased two new rugs for my home, like larger rugs. I got a runner for my hallway, as well as a nine by 12 for my living room. <clears throat> I got them from Rugs USA. And I absolutely love them. I ordered it in the I ordered them in the beginning of January, but I've been waiting to put them down until my father-in-law's furniture was here. Um, so, you know, it would just make life a lot easier rather than moving all the furniture in and out and all that jazz with the rug. I could just do it all at once. So that's what I did. Um, and I <laughs> I went just by the computer screen and memory from my father-in-law's furniture and I think I did a great job. It matches perfectly. Um, I'm super happy with it. I wanted a rug that did not have a medallion in the center, but like rather like a full on um, pattern so that if my, if my couch was off center, it wouldn't be off center on the rug because my couch is absolutely always gonna be off center in this house because it's just the way this house is laid out. Uh, but I love, love the way the rug looks with my furniture, with, well, with our furniture. And then I lied, I got one more thing. It's a set of things. I picked up a set of eight antique farmhouse chairs um, and I am so excited. Okay, so I purchased, what are they? The Safavia uh, spindle back chairs off American home furnishings or home furniture or something like that. And it ended up being like $450 after all the sales and the tax and all that stuff. Um, and I was like, you know what, no. They weren't exactly what I wanted anyway. They were the right color tone, but they weren't, they just looked too modern. And so I canceled the order and and they were back ordered. I wouldn't be getting them until March. So I canceled that order. And that night I found the exact chairs that I have been hunting for so long. I just wanted simple um, spindle back chairs with the simple four, four legs, but made sure that all the legs were tied in together with the little swoopy thing coming down from the back to the seat of the chair. I don't know what that piece is called, but I wanted that and I wanted it all very simple and classic and that's exactly what I found. I got eight of them for $12 each. So I was really excited about that. I have six of them at my kitchen table and then I have two in my office, one at my desk and one at my craft desk or my studio desk where I usually film my videos but right now my craft room is in upheaval. <laughs> so um, I grabbed those from Facebook Marketplace as well. They had 48 of them. They came from the Masonic, a local Masonic lodge. Um, so that was really exciting to have those. Some of them needed a little bit of gluing, so I brought them home and gave them their love, cleaned them up, and now they're perfect. I love the finish on them that they have already. It's already beaten up and it's got that early American vibe to it that I'm loving so much lately. I almost forgot about, <laughs> it was over a year ago, my other sister-in-law sent me money 
in an Etsy gift card for my birthday and I never used it all. So I found these on Instagram. It was an Etsy shop. And so I ordered them. They're handmade jadeite colored glass straws. They were a definite, at least a splurge for me. So, um, but I think they're worth it. I love them. Now, they are too wide for the mouth of my Yeti, but without the top on, they work perfectly. Yeah, so that is everything, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll check you later. And the links will be in the description box. Bye.